upstairs today just because a bit more has happened upstairs than it has downstairs. So in each of the bedrooms, a lot, a lot of the plumbing work and a lot of the electrics have been going in. So you can see here all wires coming up and down. So here's going to be TV points um, and plug points by beds, that kind of thing. Data points for desks, plug points as well. All the lighting as well. So we've got a pendant coming in here. Because this room is sort of like a Z shape, um, we've got a, a spotlight over the desk provide a bit of light over there and we've got a, some spotlights over there just to provide a bit of light in that corner as well um, and lastly this is where the full length mirror will go so because it's a full length mirror normally they put the um, plug point sort of about here but because it's going to be a full length mirror that would mean the full length mirror would be really tall so I asked them to put them at sort of 250mm above the floor so um, that's where the mirror goes um, so if you come through into these other rooms, probably this one's a bit more interesting. So you've got all the pipe work for showers and all that sorts of things, sinks, radiators. So this room we've had a little bit of a um, something we need to decide where to place. So as you walk in here, so we're going to have a radiator here because the way that all the furniture goes, there's not really anywhere else to put the radiator other than there, but I also need a full length mirror in here. So we decided to put a tall 400 wide um, radiator here, which is fine, but when the door opens, where do you then put the light switch? So um, we've been sort of having sort of discussions where does the door open outwards? I'm not really keen on door opening, doors opening outwards, I think it looks a bit weird. So we've settled on the idea that we're going to have the door opening here and the light switch is going to have to go as close to the door opening but not too far because this is where the TV is going to go. So I think that's the best use of space but yeah it's a bit of a kind of headache of where to put things. So that was one of the things we had to do in this room today, uh, this week sorry. Um, the other rooms are just basically the same as this that all the electrics have gone in. Um, obviously out in the hallway you've got all smoke alarms, sensors, all that kind of stuff. All the smoke alarms in the bedrooms as well. The door linings. Door linings, yep, yeah, door linings have gone in. So again, yeah, you can sort of see where the room's going to go. So you've got the bed here, plug point where the bedside table will go, wardrobe, desk, um, TV points. We've got lights and I think this is this is for shaver sockets, this is coming down. So you've got shaver socket for the basin, a light above the basin as well. <coughs> um, and then this room as well. So this room I had to come in and speak with the um, plumber about because on my plans I'd put the radiator here. Um, but as you can see, so my plan was it would, it would go behind the door, but normally you have quite a bit of an architrave sort of gap here. But with this one, it's really quite tight, so I, I didn't realise that obviously it's not going to fit there, so I had to come in and speak to the plumber about where we then actually put the um, radiator in this room, because this room is the, probably the hardest one to fit everything in. Um, so we've decided that it's going to go here, um, at the end of the bed, and the TV is going to go above it there. Um, so, yeah, it's, all these things, you sort of design it, but it's not a final plan because then the trades will have their input and you'll come up against problems and you've got to come up with those solutions. So, yeah, it's, it's an, an ongoing plan, if you like. So I'll show you downstairs now. Okay, so down here, not so much has happened because they're sort of working their way top down, um, but a few bits of plumbing and electrics have been going on um, and this door lining for what is going to be the kitchen, or leads straight into the kitchen, so we're going to have oven units. Right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have an oven tower unit here and fridges and stuff, so um, the door lines we put in to accommodate that. I think the chimney was done last week, so um, that's nothing new. Um, discussion is in here this week, so this window here is obviously really large and it costs a lot of money to replace. Um, with the kitchen and the sofa and the TV, because obviously this is going to be like an open plan kitchen, living, dining area, um, we really struggled because we had the sofa here and the TV was going to be over there. And Ollie made a really good point that it's just too far to have away from, from where you're sitting. 
So we've had to change things around a bit and we're now not going to have a corner sofa, we're going to have like a four seater sofa with a chaise long, which is going to face this way. Um, and that, that's going to be sort of, I'm not quite sure yet, but um, it's going to have the sofa and the TV is going to have to go here, which means we're going to have to brick up this sort of panel so the TV can at least sit here. Um, so that has obviously got cost implications because the brickwork costs a bit more than, than the glazing does. So, um, but when we sort of looked at how to, how to use this room, this feels like the best way to use it, to be able to get everything we need to for the kitchen and have a dining area and have a sofa TV area. Um, so yeah, it's like I said, we're having to have one plan and then you come up against things and you amend that plan a little bit. So. Um, yeah, other than that, I think pretty much it's all just sort of the same upstairs, door lining, a few plug points, um, not so much of the bathroom stuff has been done at the moment down here. Um, we're having hopefully the gas meter move this week because it's high up on a wall, I don't know if you've seen in one of the other vlogs. I need to choose brick colours which are here so I'll do this, I'll do that after this video. Um, and what else? I can't remember, there's something else that I need to do as well. You've got to show them the floor plans at some point. Oh yeah, no, I need to show you the floor plans, but like I said, because they're sort of changing a little bit at the moment, I won't do that just yet, but I will, I'll update you with the floor plans. Um, so yeah, that's the update for this week, um, and we'll see you next week. Bye.